In this video, we demonstrate how to sample blood for blood cultures via venipuncture with a butterfly needle. This is a closed system that minimizes the risk of blood culture contamination and can be used for adults and children. Normal conditions, there are no bacteria in the blood. However, in case of severe infections, bacteria may be present in the blood and cause bloodstream infections. To identify these bacteria, blood is sampled in a blood culture bottle and cultured in a liquid medium. However, bacteria are also present on the human skin and in the environment. If these bacteria enter the blood culture bottle during sampling, the blood culture bottle will be contaminated with bacteria that do not originate from the patient blood. These bacteria will multiply during the incubation and cause false positive results. To avoid blood culture contamination and obtain good quality results, blood must be sampled according to specific blood culture sampling procedures which are demonstrated in this video. Blood cultures should be sampled in case of severe febrile illness, so there should be fever or hypothermia combined with general signs of severity or signs of a local severe infection. To sample a blood culture, you need a blood culture request form, a permanent marker and a pen, an alcohol-based hand wrap and minimum one pair of non-sterile gloves. For disinfection, you need a timer, five dry compressors per blood culture set and two disinfectants. We prefer to use 70% isopropyl alcohol for the first step of skin disinfection and disinfection of the blood culture bottle and holder, and to use 2% chlorhexidine gluconate in 70% isopropyl alcohol as a second step for skin disinfection. For blood culture sampling, you need a tourniquet, a butterfly needle with lure screw lock adapter, and a blood culture holder. For adults, we sample two aerobic bottles, so with green cap. And for children, we sample one aerobic bottle with a yellow cap. Finally, we need a rack for blood culture bottles, a dry non-sterile compress to stop the bleeding after venipuncture and a band-aid, a sharps container and a biohazard container. We strongly recommend positioning of all materials at the side of the dominant hand to avoid crossover of the arms during the procedure. Once you have arranged your workplace, you can start the procedure. Check if the blood culture is not expired. Then check the patient's identity by asking his name, age and gender. Indicate your volume of blood you need to sample per blood culture bottle according to the age of the patient. In adults, we sample two blood culture bottles of 10 ml, so indicate which bottle you will sample first and which second. Inform the patient or his caretaker about the procedure while you disinfect your hands with alcohol-based hand wrap before you touch the patient. Position the patient and look for an appropriate venipuncture site. Apply and fasten the tourniquet about 10 cm above the puncture site and ask the patient to make a fist. Look for an appropriate place for venipuncture. Palpate the vein. Once you've identified the vein, you can loosen the tourniquet. Clean the patient's skin at the puncture site with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Apply vigorous friction. If the wipe is visibly soiled, repeat with another wipe until the wipe is clean. Wait for 30 seconds to 1 minute to allow the alcohol to dry. Meanwhile, you can remove the caps from the blood culture bottles and place the bottles in a rack. Disinfect with 70% isopropyl alcohol, the rubber septum of each bottle and disinfect the blood culture bottle holder too. 
now disinfect the puncture site again with 2% chlorhexidine gluconate and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Apply a vigorous friction again and wait 30 seconds to 1 minute to allow the alcohol to dry. Do not touch the puncture site anymore during the rest of the procedure. Put on gloves and fasten the tourniquet again. Unwrap a butterfly needle from its package. Connect the lure screw lock adapter to the blood culture holder and screw tightly. Do not touch the rubber cover of the lure screw lock adapter. Puncture the vein with the butterfly needle. Fixate one wing with a finger or a tape to secure the needle through with the blood sampling. Do not touch the needle or the puncture site with your finger or a compress. If you have touched the puncture site, you should repeat the procedure from antisepsis onwards. Insert the blood culture bottle into the blood culture bottle holder. Puncture the rubber septum of the blood culture bottle. The blood will flow immediately into the blood culture bottle. Release the tourniquet once the blood starts to flow. If the vena puncture fails, repeat the procedure from antisepsis onwards with a new sterile needle and a new vena puncture site. Hold the blood culture straight so you can see when the required volume is obtained. Once you have sampled the required volume, remove the bottle from the bottle holder. Mix gently by inverting the bottle several times and place it in the rack. For adults, you can now connect the second blood culture bottle to the holder to inoculate a second blood culture bottle with 10 ml of blood. If necessary, you can now take other blood samples for additional laboratory analysis. Take a dry compress and hold it just above the puncture site. Remove the butterfly needle from the puncture site and press a dry compress on the puncture site as soon as you have removed the needle. Ask the patient or his caretaker to continue to press on the cotton wool. If the butterfly needle has a safety lock, close it. Dispose the butterfly needle and the tubing in the sharps container and unscrew the blood culture holder. Put the blood culture holder aside. The blood culture holder can be reused after disinfection if it's not visibly soiled. Put a band-aid on the puncture site. Remove your gloves and disinfect your hands with alcohol-based hand wrap. Identify now the blood culture bottles with the patient's name, the patient's hospital number, the date and time of blood collection and the sampling site. Complete now the blood culture request form with the date and time of sampling, the type of bottles, your initials and any relevant comments. Peel off the barcodes of the blood culture bottles and paste them on the request form. Check if the bottles are labeled correctly and transport the bottles immediately to the laboratory. Keep the transport time as short as possible and maximum 4 hours. If the transport is not immediate, keep the blood culture bottles in the dark and at room temperature and never store them in the fridge.